Y'all always got something to say. Today, I'm going to share some of those comments from all of you power director peeps out there. So, we're going to be going through some of my videos, and I'll be answering some of your questions or just replying and responding to your comment. It depends on what it is you're saying. If you want to see more videos like this on a regular basis, I want you to put hashtag give me more comments in the comment section below. The first comment is from Roma Mostrich, who said, I use PowerDirector 16 as my main video editor. I recently bought an Insta360 ONE X which shoots at 5.7K. PowerDirector is limited to 4K. Will there be an update of PowerDirector 16 or 17 so the full resolution of 5.7K can be used? Roma Mostrich, I wish I could answer that question for you, but I don't work for Cyberlink, so I don't know what types of improvements or features they're going to be adding to future versions or current versions of PowerDirector. I think that a lot of people think I got some kind of pull with PowerDirector or Cyberlink or something. I ain't got no more pull than you got, okay? With all of that out of the way, I don't see why not. There are a lot of different devices right now that have a resolution of 5.7K, especially with VR uh, and 360 video um, growing like it is. I think that that's only a natural progression, and I would hope to see them implementing some type of solution that includes 5.7K in future versions of the software, but I'm not sure how you want to really implement the full use of the 5.7K. If you're trying to make it a 2D 5.7K, then nah, that's not happening, Cap. Mm, not right now. The next comment is from Chef Smith, Heaven's Healthy Kitchen, and he says, hey, I'm having a title issue with Cyberlink Power Director 16. I know how to add titles to video, but when I go to the timeline, I can't see the title I've made. Well, Chef Smith's Heaven's Healthy Kitchen, I've got the answer for you. I will produce a solution. So what you gotta remember in Power Director is that everything is inverted. In other video editing programs, when you put something on the top track, that means that that is above everything else and you should be able to see whatever you put there. So a lot of people put their titles in track one, thinking that they're gonna be able to see their titles as it plays. But if I click out of this and I hit play, you notice that I don't see the title. If I click on it right now, I can. So that's kind of confusing to people. What you got to remember is because everything is inverted is when you play this, you have to make sure that your titles are underneath all of your videos and images. And now when I play this, you'll see the title there. So what a lot of people do in order to make sure that their title is always visible is instead of putting their title on a regular uh, timeline track that has audio and video, if they place it down here on the title track with the T. If you place your titles in this track all the time, then you will always be able to see your titles because PowerDirector does not create any numbered tracks beneath these tracks here. The next comment is from School Bus, who says, you're priceless, man. Keep it up. Well, thank you so much. Well, you know that school buses are also priceless because we have to protect our children because the children are our future and it does take a village to raise a child because you know in this day and age the next comment is by Bo with the flow who says i can't see the magic tools button on my screen what do i do well Bo with the flow you don't really need to do anything but you do need to know a few things the magic tools button was removed and all of the features were moved to places that made sense in your editing workflow. First one we're gonna talk about is the Magic Movie Wizard. To find a Magic Movie Wizard, you can find that when you open up the program, but you can also just go to the plugins button here, and then you'll see here that you have Magic Movie Wizard. Left click on that, it opens up, and you walk through the wizard. Next thing we wanna talk about is Magic Music. So Magic Music was actually removed from PowerDirector a few versions ago, but you can add smart sound to PowerDirector, and if you do that, then you will automatically get the Magic Music functionality added back to PowerDirector. And once you do that, then all you need to do is go to Plugins, go to Media, and go to Smart Sound, Quick Tracks. 
You click on that, it opens up the magic music editor and you can go ahead and do your magic music thing from here. Um, I think if you don't have it already installed, when you do those steps that I just did, it actually prompts you to do some uh, updates to get magic music as well. So just do that, walk through those tips. If it doesn't do that when you go through those tips, then I will go ahead and share the link to download and install magic music or the smart sound functionality for magic music. Let's close this out. Okay, so next is Magic Cut. There's a few different ways to get to that. If I select a video on my timeline by left clicking on it with my mouse, I can go up here to the More Features button. And when I click on that, I get an option that says Edit Video. And when I hover over that, then I get the Magic Cut option here. If I click on that, it will open up the Magic Cut functionality for me to use that. The other way that I can get to it is if I left click on a video, I can go to tools and then under tools, you'll see the option for magic cut here. So again, I can op open it from there. And then the last uh, magic tool to talk about is magic motion. If I select a photo or an image that's on my timeline, I can go to more features. I can then go to edit image. And then when I go to pan and zoom, it actually opens up magic motion. So then I can go ahead and apply the different motions that I want to this image or set of images. So if I close this, the last way to get to magic motion is to select a photo or an image on your timeline, go to tools. And once again, you go to pan and zoom. The next comment is from Lovena Abejo who says, Please chat me. Now, Lovena, I do my best to respond to as many comments as I can, but I can't respond to every single comment that happens. Now, I'm on YouTube pretty regularly responding to comments on my videos. Now, I also respond to comments on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the Cyberlink forum. I can't respond to every single comment or question, unfortunately. Do my best. I think that the big thing that really pulls people into Power Director is that we are a community. Not only am I responding to questions, sometimes I see other people responding to comments and questions on my videos. The Facebook uh, Power Director Users Group, you gotta go check that out. If you're not part of that group, jump on board. They are always on there responding to questions and helping each other out. Same thing on the Cyberlink Power Director Forum. A bunch of great guys and gals on there helping each other out. We have a great community that does a fantastic job and I will continue to try my best as we move forward. All right, Power Director peeps, those are the Power Director peeps comments for this video. Now, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.